Hello everyone, this is Ina with Indich Kirsha and welcome to my kitchen. Today in episode I have a guest, my dear friend Layla, and she's going to show us how to make traditional stuffed peppers with the name Chile Mariano. I will never remember how to pronounce it. <laughs> but we're going to stuff those delicious peppers, poblano peppers, with cheese, herbs, and um, beautiful fresh tomato sauce. And she'll show how to make easy and quick and true traditional way. And for ingredients, we need main ingredients, poblano peppers, what else? tomatoes, and small onion, three uh, garlic cloves, that's it? Um, yes. If you want a little, if you're thinking it's more, add a couple more. I love garlic. I love garlic too. <laughs> so you can just taste it, and uh, Mexican people we always, you know, try first and then, you know, decide. <laughs> then you need cilantro. We might need just for the sauce at the end. We uh -huh. add a little bit of cilantro at the end. Beautiful cilantro. Yes, it smells really good. Uh, cheese, salt, mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese. So it melts better. But we can use any cheese. Any right? kind of cheese, fresh cheese, Mexican cheese, any cheese that you okay. like. So we use just simple mozzarella, fresh mozzarella. Yeah. Then cumin, chili, chili pepper, salt, um, pepper, black pepper, and salt. And salt. And for um, butter. Oh, the butter. Butter. I don't pronounce it correctly. Yeah, <laughs> butter. Okay. Tell the bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the butter, um, we're gonna be using fresh um, eggs from Ina's chicken. From my chicken, just. And um, <laughs> we'll show you how to do that process after. After we. We roast the peppers. <laughs> yes. Let's start doing. That way we can mush it. That way we can um, put the filling in, and they will still be nice and firm when we so take them. So the only out. reason we're doing this to remove the skin, some right? of the skin, yeah. Okay. And give some flavor, right? And give some, yes, like the roasted the flavor. Roasted flavor. Look at that. That's mm. where the flavor. Yes. I think this looks good. Yes. Yeah. To reduce water. Water, yeah, you don't want it to run it. You just want that tomato flavor on the peppers. Alright, let's okay. see. It depends what consistency you. So, about half teaspoon? Yes. Half teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Cumin. And salt, I eat. Uh, just a pinch of. A chili? pinch of chili pepper, not to spicy. Pinch. And uh, pinch. <laughs> I think about a tablespoon of salt. And then if you want more, okay. you add more. And freshly ground black pepper. Yes. Ooh. 
what we're going to do now with this sauce. We're gonna uh, cook, cook. It, cook it a little bit, but we're gonna add in a saucepan. In a saucepan, and we're gonna get add grapeseed oil. Just a little bit. A little bit. bit. It can be any oil. Any right? oil. Yeah, but you just want a little bit just to um, flavor. Flavor uh, the oil with a little, a little piece of onion. Okay, that's okay. a cool technique. I use occasionally when I deep fry something savory. I add onion yeah. um, just to make tasty oil. <laughs> just like a little bit of, um, of onion and a tiny bit of Then we'll put it in the heat. I think it's all to plenty for sure. Yeah. A little bit just for like the aroma. And can you explain us why you're doing this way instead of just chop it up and <laughs> add a whole bunch it's just, <laughs> in a blender? You don't want to blend it because it gives it a little bit of a bitter, sour, sour taste. And this way you just get like the aroma. Just aroma that's it. Matrona and her popsicle. <laughs> no gloves, so I won't touch your eyes. <laughs> But it's not spicy. No, it's not. Poblana pepper is not spicy. Mm -hmm. Open them okay. and with being very careful, you you're not going to remove seeds. No, you don't have to. We, really? ne we never do. Oh, okay. So we usually <laughs> when we eat it, it's we, new to me. Oh, yeah, right. we don't remove these ones. We remove the jalapenos. Okay. And see, uh, I try to make sure I don't break them. So whenever we fry them, the stuff don't come out. Okay. And so keep, as gentle as possible. As gentle as possible. And then if they do kind of. We can use we can just, it to spray. All right. So can, how many pieces? Uh, I, can, I can see according how two? big the pepper is. Yeah, two, two, pieces. Two, two pieces. And some onion? And some onion. See, sometimes I, I some break. Some slice. Yeah. I like thin slice, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A thin slice. And a little onion just for flavor. Mexican style. This one's gonna be a spicy one. Smell this one. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> a little spicy. So you can smell which one will be spicy. Yeah. I think this will be spicy. Yes, that one's gonna be not the try. <laughs> We can test, you know how to little. test. It's a little piece. Oh yeah. So, Sizzling. <laughs> so what I do, I just dip one side like this first. Yeah, ah. I would dip whole thing. And then I use oh. <laughs> little by little. I just I don't know, that's how I, you can do either way, we can try two ways. 
But this recipe almost keeps it without that little flour, half teaspoon. Mm. The drink made with pineapple. What do you make? Tepache. 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 I thought it would be nice to have a Mexican drink while we eat in Mexican food. <laughs> and this is traditional uh, made um, with pineapple fermented drink. And it we like it's very refreshing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now what you do? You just pour sauce on, on the, the... As much sauce as you want, you know? Yeah. I cannot wait to try. Let's see. Oops. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm using the wrong. See the cheese? It's melted. Yes, it is melted. It has so deep umami flavor, it has very savory, savory, um, so delicious. They have simple ingredients, simple sauce, but gives beautiful, delicious flavor. And the melted cheese and the crunch, slightly crunch, it's not overly cooked pepper, so it's fantastic. And egg gives very fluffy, fluffy, uh, fluffy taste. It's almost like... Um, Unless there's one teaspoon of uh, flour, I can call keto friendly recipe. Yes. <laughs> it literally, is. literally, it's very low carb. And if you don't serve with rice like I did, I'm going to eat with rice. But if you don't want rice, it's it's wonderful. It's it delicious. Is. Thank you so much for teaching me. <laughs> I really enjoy it. Now I will make this all the time. I think we'll stop with little meat. Meat. Um, and cheese for my husband. And make sure you have plenty of eggs. <laughs> Yes, yes, we basically need one egg for per pepper. If it's a big pepper, yes. Yeah, so we run out of eggs, so we only cook four or five peppers. I hope you enjoyed this video. You may like, subscribe, request what recipe you would like to see in my channel. Bye, see you next time.